My name is Seth Knopp, and I've come to know Eliza Stewart and her work uh, through my experience as uh, artistic director uh, of Yellow Barn and Chamber Music Festival uh, during the summertime, where Eliza is a Feldenkrais practitioner for three weeks, one of the most busy faculty members we have there. Uh, and I've also seen Eliza work in other uh, other ways with musicians in private lessons and group lessons, uh, a real variety of work. Um, I think what really is astonishing for me about the work that Elisa does is not just that she's uh, so good at what she does within the Feldenkrais umbrella because it's a wonderful method and of course in and of itself it's a, it's a wonderful idea, but any practitioner who works within the Feldenkrais method will bring their own unique angle to it. And what Eliza does, and her incredible gift, uh, is that she's able to bring her experience as a musician, somebody whose, uh, whose training really was first and foremost as a musician, as a pianist, uh, to bear on what she does as a Feldenkrais practitioner. I have uh, literally seen Eliza come into a lesson and work with a pianist and absolutely transform them. It seems like with the, the wave of a wand, only uh, she's moving a jaw, or she's moving a head, or she's moving a foot, or having somebody take a shoe off, or uh, having someone change the, p the position of their body in a very subtle way, but all of a sudden one will hear a sound blossom, and you'll see actually, not only here, but you'll see the, the student's face start to glow and become absolutely excited like never before because they see the possibilities in, in this approach. Uh, Elisa is also extremely intense about her work and the work that she does uh, with musicians. Uh, at, at Yellow Barn, she is undoubtedly one of the most busy faculty members that we have. We have a stream, a long line of of musicians, both younger participants and faculty members, really uh, trying to get uh, private time with her. She does group classes, and these are experiences that uh, musicians do not give up easily, even if they have uh, a pressing rehearsal that they need to go to. This is something that they keep almost a sacred time for themselves. Uh, I think that, that in her hands, the Feldenkrais method becomes not so much about healing or prevention, but it becomes more about people realizing their interpretive potential. Uh, there's, there's really nothing like standing by after one has worked themselves with a student for an hour uh, and then see Elisa come in and in a matter of seconds transform things in a way that you've, you've really been hoping would happen uh, over a longer period of time. So I think working in conjunction with, um, uh, with musicians is also one of the things that she does very well. She's, uh, she understands what, uh, what teachers of music are trying to do, whether they're pianists or violinists or wind players or percussionists, and she's able to add something that knows from the inside uh, the language that they're speaking and the message that they're trying to convey to an audience. And this is the end that she's trying to bring musicians to. She does it beautifully and incredibly effectively.